Hello everyone, welcome again. And uh, uh, before the day, before a week, uh, I posted a video, a video on the timetable management project. And this, this project is completely developed in uh, JSP Servlet and uh, follow that MBC model, MBC architecture, and Maven tool as well. So <clears throat> I got lots of comments like how to configure the project at uh, your machine. So here I am and this is our next video to configure the system that complete project to your machine so for configure you need to go just that link and uh, here is the some things are there some uh, pre-requirements which is you need to configure that project the first thing is MySQL workbench and some language knowledge it will already uh, made it all the files are there you just need to configure then this tomkit server and obviously knowledge about the maven tool and sts tool or eclipse you can configure in both okay the next thing you need to download that uh, rar file so you can uh, i will provide the link in description box if you watch the previous video you will easily get the link to download that video so just go here in code one and uh, download that source code just click on the download source code it will redirect to you on the rar file and uh, just click on the download button and when you hit the download button it will download a rar file for you complete project and uh, you need a, a pre, as a pre requirement i told you uh, it's downloading is started so we are going to set up that so you need that STS tool or you can use that Eclipse also how do you get that uh, uh, STS tool just go on Google and type STS tool download and just open that first link and it's a really good tool uh, very handy uh, to use so according to your configuration like your machine like if you are using windows mac or linux something you can download this according to your operating system like if you are using 32 bits you can download this uh, zip file if you are using 64 bit you can download this zip file after downloading i have already so i'm not going to download it again so when you have done your downloading you will get uh, that uh, i'm going to show you demo it's of D. I just forget the path. Yeah, you will get this file. It will a uh, rar file. You just need to extract this like like this. Just right click on this and uh, click on extract here. It will create this file STS bundle. Just open it and open that folder STS 3.91 release. This is the latest version at that time. And if you're downloading it after some time maybe there will be some new versions are there so just open this folder and click that STS icon it will launch this now the second thing is you need to configure your server so I'm using Tomcat server first I'm going to delete the server and I'm going to show you how to edit it at your machine so I'm going to not use it I'm going to delete it so it's done by my side you can see there is a server tape there is no menus there so in windows uh, if you are not getting the server so in windows just go show view and click on other and just look for server here so you can see the server here just click on server you will uh, this tape will be open just right click on the tape and uh, i think it's not right click okay just right click here in this uh, space white space and click on new and server click on the server and you need to download the apache server from uh, google or something so you need to decide first when which version you are using like i am using 8.0 version or i need to confirm that so i think is there any server so okay i am using 8.0 and at 5 also you can use any one so in this demo i'm going to show you how to configure this how to download it, it from the google just open and uh, tomcat just open your google and tomcat 8.0 download and search and go to official site and just look for it and you can go here and download this file 64 bit for windows according to your operating system configuration you can download your software right and uh, 
next select this and click on next all the fields will be same uh, we don't need to any change just click on next and uh, okay uh, i think i did some mistake okay select it point zero watch it on gate click on next let's finish actually we need to do some uh, we need to get some path there so i i have already the server in this uh, uh, so in this uh, SCS tool it will take it directly if you are doing first time you need to get uh, you need to provide the path of that particular file this project then it will uh, take that uh, particular path and so, uh, uh, particular uh, software particular uh, Tomcat server so if you don't if you get any kind any trouble you can comment to me i will try to solve that problem also or maybe i will in future i will going to i am going to make a new video on how to configure the tomcat server with your sts with your sts tool and uh, one more thing you need a database so database will be always i'm using mysql workbench so i'm going to search for this if you don't know how to install that mysql workbench uh, you can search on YouTube as well as Google. There is a lots of videos are there how to configure that MySQL workbench and MySQL server it is uh, machine or you can Google the direct MySQL MySQL community you can say MySQL community server and just go that official side and you can download and install it So here is my local server for database MySQL connection so default password is root so I'm going to provide the password and uh, you need to configure your database here so it's a main menu uh, main, main page front page of that uh, MySQL database so as a host of management timetable management you can see here I have already the database but I'm going to remove this and I'm going to drop the schema and I'm going to import it again for you so it will be easy to do so these are the resources you required one is database and mysql workbench to it's a really handy you can do that mysql task by command prompt also but uh, the graphical interface is very easy and handy so you can use this and uh, next thing is this sts tool id and one tomcat server if these three things are working fine then it will be easy to configure the project it's time to check my server is working on node just right click on the server and click on start and server is going to start and you can see here the server is starting the server is starting okay okay you can see the server is started now and uh, next thing is I need to cover I, I, uh, next thing is required is that drawer uh, file which I just downloaded from code1.com for that project time, time table management system to drawer. So just open that file and uh, you can see where is that. Yeah, okay, the file is here. So just copy this file and put it in an appropriate. Uh, place like uh, where you want to store that particular project so I'm going to use demo and a spring project here in spring project you can see already I have this file timetable management system so I'm going to just right click and extract here and uh, I have already this file so I'm going to not extract here again so you can see the timetable management system project is here there is a two files one there is a two folder in this uh, project one for database and other one is project so open your uh, uh, sts tool again and go in file and uh, import just click on that import and just go or just click on uh, this if you first if you are using this first time you will see the project folders like journal ejbj install java e so uh, we are going to use maven so just click check for maven and we have existing Maven projects. Let's click on existing Maven project. Click on next, and uh, just go on the root directory where your project is stored already. So in the data folder, I have a one folder that call. I have a lots of folder. Okay, Spring SDS project. 
inside this you can see the timetable management you need to search the timetable management okay so timetable management system folder is here so this is your project this is not your project because there is a two folder one is database another one is timetable mgt so just click the timetable mgt and okay and click on finish when you click on finish you can see in the bottom corner there is a project uh, in importing that maven project is nine percent just wait a few seconds it will uh, complete it till 100 and uh, your project is going to come in the sys tool okay now everything is ready and here is some errors are there okay you don't need to import any library because we are using maven tool and maven there is a pom.xml file i already added all the dependencies which will you required like database uh, J data j connector or servlet and all the dependencies are there so you don't need to import any library are there so all the libraries are already there you can see this and uh, where is that JavaScript resources and target. So okay, here is the libraries and my pandudan. You can see that my SQL Java connector and all the all the required libraries are there. So you don't need to import single one. So here is some errors are there. You can see. So we need to solve that error. Just right click on that project and go on properties. And after the properties, just click on uh, Java Build Path. And uh, no, just uh, you need to go project uh, facts and just click the Java version, select the Java version 1.8. Just click on apply, and close also. But still, there is some errors are there so just right click again and click on build path configure build path and here you can uh, make sure there is a java ac8 version is there if you are not using blow than this if you are using you will get uh, error so just check that version and change that version from here and click on finish and uh, apply close okay now you can see here the server library apache is using the 7.0 but we are just configured 8.0 so you can change this also so apache don't cut it let's click on finish apply close it's time to run that project hope it will work fine so just right click on the project run as is on server and just select the server here tomcat server next finish okay every time when you change something in your files you need to restart the server at, at that time i'm going to uh, I'm, I'm, i can use that continue without restarting but for the demo purpose i'm going to restart the server it will take few time but uh, it will easy to you understand so just check uh, the project is working or not Okay. Okay. So project is uh, uploaded successfully. Uh, so you can see here when I click on login, everything is working fine. Just we need to configure the database. It's so still not end. Uh, we need to imp uh, configure the database also. So just open your MySQL database and uh, here. Uh, first you need to create a database and the database name should be uh, like uh, just go in your project folder again just open the database and you can see the timetable.sql so just copy this name and create a database here so just click on that icon new schema and click on table enter that name timetable or I think you can import directly also so just remove this and try to import it directly if it will, when it will not work then we, we will import it manually so just go on server and click on data import and inside this imports just uh, click on the select self uh, imports uh, from self content file and browse that file 
and just need to go again on the path where your database file is stored so spring project and in this spring project there will be a file timetable management system and in this system there is a database so timetable to task will it import it and start import so you know, don't need to create a manually uh, database it will create automatically uh, so everything is finished and just refresh this schema <clears throat> just click on this uh, uh, spin icon and uh, you can check the database is there or not you can see the database timetable is here and uh, for your clarity you can see like this you can add it, uh, you can, okay. okay you can see the database is here different different data tables are there if you are going to select that is the table just run it select a stick from uh, st underscore student underscore user table and click run so yeah database is there good so now uh, we need to insert some uh, database operation so it will be confirmed to you that is working properly or not so i'm going to just sign click on that sign up button uh, the first name so i need to enter so i'm going to just random user demo 45 and the last name will be the demo and uh, enter the email id demo45 at the rate gmail.com and enter the password so password so 12345 and phone number anything which you want uh, 24680 yeah. so when i click on submit so you can see the data is successfully sent so i'm going to log in it so my username or gmail will be demo45 at the rate gmail.com and password i think uh, one two three four five yeah you can see the high demo 45 and uh, successfully you can check the all the details here subject list are there the timetable list are there you can add your new subject uh, already i can't buy so you the demo how the project is going to work if you don't know i will provide the link in the description video please watch that video before you go install and please understand all the things clearly then you can go for it for the code so you need to uh, uh, just watch complete video complete to video clearly if you get any doubt you can comment me I will try to solve you but before comment or before ask any question please watch the complete video where it will clear to you and um, and uh, remember one thing <clears throat> like we are using that uh, mysql database port is 3306 and username is root and password is root if you are using any other database root or database port or other uh, database uh, credential like uh, database password or uh, another other database username so you need to change something in your code or you need to change something in your database so how, where you need to change these things this time i'm going to show you just open the project and uh, search for model file model control like there is a faculty model so just open this file there is some model inside that model package there is this database connectivity as there so you need to enter your port number here and root is root will be your username and the root will be your password of database so these database credentials you need to insert in this project so it will communicate easy to communicate uh, that application can communicate by your database so there is a different different methods are there so i'm not going to use common connection so every time i'm using a new connection so you can uh, manually insert that uh, here so thank you so much for watching if you're still getting some problem you can comment to me uh, for more project for more technical videos like programming videos like java and all you can subscribe that code one channel and uh, be in touch with me and uh, and uh, just view that post and in the code one.com and check the detail and uh, if anybody is required the project you can share that video with them and uh, if you want to learn how to develop the java web project you can personally comment to me i will provide the uh, tutorial on that also how to develop that kind of project uh, basic project in java thank you